January the 18th, the Syrian Arab army, SAA, and Iranian-backed militias liberated the village of Qaitar in southern Aleppo from Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, formerly Chapat al-Nusra, and almost closed the eastern Idlib pocket. Later on the same day, ISIS reportedly captured 30 villages, including Razam al-Daba, al-Muwaila, Abu Ajwa, Muraka Shamali, Huma, Najm al-Suhur, Um Kurun, and Razam Arira in northeastern Hama and southwestern Aleppo from Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, HTS. According to reports, some HTS members withdrew from the area to avoid being encircled by the SAA, while the rest of them just joined ISIS. The pro-opposition news outlet Inab Baladi also reported that ISIS fighters started an advance to reach the SAA-held village Tel Daman in order to open a route towards Idlib province. The ISIS hunters of the SAA's 5th Assault Corps have repelled a suicide vehicle-borne improvised explosive device attack by ISIS in the Euphrates Valley. According to the unit's media wing, the attack was an attempt to break the blockade imposed by government forces on ISIS units in the Homs Desert. On January the 18th, two ISIS VBIDs attacked the US-backed Syrian Democratic Forces SDF, in Garanij, in southeastern Deir Zor, according to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights SOHR. The ISIS-linked news agency AMAC added that ISIS fighters targeted a gathering of SDF fighters and destroyed a Humvee with an ATGM. According to Sawa, ISIS still controls the villages of Abu Hassan, Abu Badran, al Baghuz, al Susa, and al Shafa, as well as large parts of Hajin, Haranich, and al Bara on the eastern bank of the Euphrates River. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson decided to say that Washington has no plans to create a 30,000-strong border force in northern Syria and claimed that the issue has been misportrayed. We are not creating a border security force at all, he said. However, just a few days ago, the Pentagon officially announced the creation of this border force. The coalition is working jointly with the Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, to establish and train the new Syrian Border Security Force, BSF. Currently, there are approximately 230 individuals training in the BSF's inaugural class, with the goal of a final force size of approximately 30,000, a spokesman for the US-led coalition, Colonel Thomas F. Field, said. The base of the new force is essentially a realignment of approximately 15,000 members of the Syrian Democratic Forces to a new mission in the Border Security Force, as their actions against ISIS draw to a close. Meanwhile, Turkish Chief of General Staff General Hulusi Aka and National Intelligence Organization MIT Under Secretary Hakan Fidan met in Moscow with Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and other officials for talks on Syria. It doesn't look as if Ankara is ready to see the US as a reliable partner in this conflict.